Hello friends, welcome to the world of Maths by MEA. The question in front of you is nothing but a CAT 2006 replica question. The original CAT 2006 questions videos link is in the description of this video. Okay, please find if you want to. The question is in front of you. I would say please pause the video and solve the question. I hope you have solved the question or at least read the question. Answer of this question is nothing but option number one. How comes? We have to find the ratio of number of employees who are graduated to that of employees who are smart. But here what it's given, if the total number of employees is 100, means total data is 100, all employees are either smart or graduate or both. It's not a mutually exclusive set. So we can say in a set theory, if we have two sets, we have graduate and smart union number is nothing but number of graduate plus number of smart people minus number of graduates and smart both. The total number is given 100. Why so? Because it's given the all people should be either graduate or smart so the outer data is zero all data should come here that is nothing but number of graduates plus number of smart and intersection is what is a prime number so we can say this prime number is what number of graduated plus number of smart minus 100 and we have to find number of graduated and number of smart possible so this is our question since these are nothing but the ratios of the number of graduates and smart so we can say the total number of graduate or smart with the option number one is nothing but in the terms of 15x that is 11 plus 4 is the 15x option number two that is 7 plus 3 is nothing but of the 10x condition for option number three that is nothing but 12x condition for option number four that is nothing but of 25x conditions for the option number five it's again 25x conditions and what we want we want ng plus ns that is the number of graduates plus number of a smart minus 100 should be a prime number what it's mean it means take the option number four we want 25x is nothing but the number of graduate plus number of smarts minus 100 could it be possibly a prime or not can you say Take 25 commons we have x minus 4 can it be a prime or not no this cannot be a prime because we have 25 common which is not a prime so option number 4 and option number 5 is eliminated why so because it is not a prime it can't be a prime in any case i am just checking option number 3 that is ng plus nx minus 100 should be a prime take 4 common take 4 common can it be prime or not that is nothing but 3x minus 25 this cannot be prime in any condition because this one is not a product of composite is always composite so this cannot be a prime in any case i hope this one is clear so option number three option number four option number five is out same goes with option number two option number two is what 10x minus 100 so that is nothing but 10 into x minus 10 so again a composite number into another number cannot be a prime number so option two is out so our answer is nothing but option number one that is 15x how comes let's check we have 15x minus 100 that is ng plus nx minus 100 i'm taking 5 as a common so that is nothing but 3x minus 20. since this one is a prime number so this could be a prime only if this number is 1 and this number could be 1 when x is equal to 7. so our ng plus nx should be in the terms of 15x and that would be nothing but 105 and this is our answer you can check 105 minus 100 that is nothing but 5 is a prime number so our answer is nothing but option number one i hope this one is clear if you have any doubt i would say please check all the concept we want ng plus nx minus 100 is a prime number this is only possible when we work like this and our and our final outcome should have a prime number as a common factor rest all the options have composite number as a common okay i hope this one is clear if you have any doubt feel free to ping me thank you and happy learning